is it that some women can devour burgers and fries whereas you're eating chicken and broccoli and are still stuck when trying to lose weight? Believe it or not, it's not necessarily just their willpower, it's probably all the fidgeting that they're doing. By all that fidgeting, I mean a concept called NEAT, so non-exercise activity thermogenesis. It's essentially all of the calories that you are burning outside of eating, sleeping, and your intentional exercise. This is things like pacing while you're on the phone, taking the stairs, having a standing desk or walking pad, and really just using some momentum throughout your day. Different studies that have looked at this can say that on average, a woman who has a higher NEAT just by doing these extra fidgeting tasks are going to burn on average an extra 700 calories over the course of a day. That's not even doing a single workout. It's just staying active and being on your feet. So here's the flip side. If you are sitting on your butt, you're reducing your NEAT opportunities by up to 150 calories over the course of the day. So you could be training your butt off in the gym, doing all of this extra cardio, and then you are super sedentary. That alone is going to show your major differences in your ability to lose weight. The reason being is that all of this exercise that you're doing in the gym is really only accounting for anywhere from 5 to 10% of your overall daily energy expenditure. So NEAT is the other 90% of what your opportunities are. So take this as a coach telling you, here's your opportunity to not have to work out more or not have to diet harder. Just move throughout the day a little bit more and you'd be surprised what you're going to be able to lose and ultimately see the scale budge the way that you want it to. My mantra here is that your metabolism might not necessarily be slow, it's that your habits are quiet. So get up and get moving.